in this one, what we're going to do is set up a orthographic camera in the scene so we can render out an image from our ground plane. And in this particular case, we just add a dimension to the ground plane and render it out using the measure it add-on. Okay, so let's get started. So with this selected, let's move it to its own layer. So I'm going to come over here to layers and what I might do is put it on layer two temporarily. So I'm just going to rename this and I'm going to call it ground view for lack of a better word and move this object to that layer. I can also switch it on. Okay. And I'm going to switch off the ground mesh. We're kind of finished with that for the moment. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is select the camera in the scene here. And I'm going to press seven for top view and just zoom out. Okay, and I can zoom in just over here. So we have our so we have our location in view. Next thing I want to do is this I'm going to switch off the visibility of this background image and just close this up here. Okay, so with this in sight, I'm going to press Control Alt Zero. Let's make sure you have the camera selected and it'll snap the camera into that position. So the camera is in a perspective mode. What I'm going to do is come over to the camera settings and switch this from perspective to an orthographic camera. Press seven. And what I'm going to do is just press N to hide this. I'm going to hover the mouse here and get across, drag this out or press and hold and drag it out. I should say, I'm just going to press one here on this and I'm actually going to select this guy. Let's see where we are. Okay, it's going to select the camera again. Just press one, drag this down. Okay, so if I press zero now, we're much closer to where we need to be. I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, so that's that's a little bit better. It's not too important where exactly it is, just once it's in view. Okay, so with that, I can come over to my orthographic scale and I'm just going to scale this up. And I want this to fit in comfortably here. So if I zoom in, I can actually press G and just position the camera a little bit better. Okay, something like this. You can zoom in further and maybe get it exactly where you want it and left click. Okay, so scale wise, I might just put this up to 25 to give it a nice clean scale. And I'm just gonna come back up here, get the cross, press and hold the left mouse button, drag to the right and you get a large arrow and that just closes that up when you release. Okay, so let's do a quick render and make sure everything is okay. So I'm gonna select our object and I'm actually gonna change it from a red color now to a, no, red will be fine actually. What I do want to do is come over to display. I'm gonna tab into edit mode and switch to vertex selection. So if I select this vert here, shift select this one on the display tab. What I want to do is come over to the measure it add on here. And I'm actually going to just configure this very quickly, very simply. I'm just going to switch this to line and line. I can increase the text size to maybe 20. I leave the color at the moment. It's not too important. And I'm going to click segment. So it's going to give me a segment from this vert to this vert because they're the ones I've selected. Okay, and if I hit show, that will display my text. I'm going to press N to bring back up this properties shelf and just come down to bottom here. And this is where you'll find the properties for this dimension. Okay, so if I expand this here, I can make a couple of adjustments. I'm going to knock off automatic position and I'm going to put a zero value for the X and a one for the Y because I want to move it up. And I can use this now to drag this away from the vertices. Okay, and I can also position the text a little bit better in the X and Y. Okay, so that wouldn't be too bad. And what I'd like to do is just do a quick render. So I'm gonna come back to object mode, expand this measure it render and just hit render. Okay, and what I need to do is, I'm just gonna drag the timeline up and switch it to a UV image editor. And in here, you should find a zero measure it output. Okay, so, so that just basically renders our dimensions from our camera view. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. One other thing we do need to do is if I come in here to the render tab, I'm gonna knock on freestyle and actually 
while I'm at it, I might as well just come back to the material tab and I'm just going to bring this to a white color. It's not too important for the moment. I'm just going to up that to white and I'm going to come to the background, use nodes and just give this a white color also. Okay, so I'm just going to come back to the freestyle. So what the freestyle is gives you a outline and that's what's going to render the hard line on the edge. Okay, so again, I'm just going to come back, drag this down slightly. Just going to give this another quick render. So hit the render button and again, just switch this to the zero output. Okay, so that's better. That, that looks a lot better. Okay, it's giving us a nice clean outline and our text is fine. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's just all I wanted to test there. Okay, and otherwise that's going to do it for this one.